Welcome to Brightly Storytime. My name is Lisbeth Kaiser, and today I'm going to tell you a true story about a real person named Martin Luther King. You might have heard of Martin Luther King before, so this story will tell you more about who he was and what he did and why he's so important. Who was Martin Luther King Jr.? Written by me with art by Stanley Chow. Martin's home was very happy. He had a big sister, a little brother, a father and a mother, and they were all kind to one another. Martin was filled with love. Martin also liked being at church. He learned to get along with everyone there, and he made many friends. Martin was filled with kindness. At home and at church, Martin was taught to love everyone, but not everyone was taught to love him. One day, Martin's best friend said he couldn't play with him anymore because Martin's skin was a different color. Martin was black and his friend was white. In Martin City and in many other places, black people were treated unfairly. It made him sad and sometimes angry. Martin wished that all people would be kind and fair to one another. He studied and he learned and he thought about how to change things. When Martin grew up, he became a reverend and an activist. He was a leader in his community. When he spoke, his words came from his big, strong heart and filled people up with love and kindness. Martin said that everyone should be treated fairly and that we should never hurt one another. He said that we could change the world peacefully. Not everyone wanted things to change, but lots and lots of people agreed with Martin. Martin showed them that they could be brave and peaceful even when they felt scared or angry. Together they worked to show everyone else that things needed to change. One day, Martin gave a very big speech about his dream of freedom and justice for all. Many people were there to listen. Others watched him on TV. The world still remembers what he said. I have a dream that one day we will stand up for freedom together. All of God's children will be able to join hands and sing. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Every year we celebrate Martin's birthday to remember what he did. He filled people's hearts. He worked hard for change. He made the world more fair. And he did it all because he loved people. This is a picture of the real Martin Luther King Jr. And here is more information in the back about his life and what he did. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I'm so excited that you joined me today for this book. Bye.